can slip in between here and then it won't fire. You have to press right on. Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're gonna take a look at DeWalt's cable stapler. I'm gonna show you how to use it and why I bought it because I am a carpenter and uh, some other good goodies, I guess. What battery we should use, a new battery that I really love and all that kind of stuff. Before we get to the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, let's get to it. So the tool itself is pretty sweet. This is a cable stapler primarily for electricians and you've got really good rubber over mold on it. Uh, we have an LED light at the front to illuminate where we're actually working. There's no safety button on the side of this. The safety is up here in the gun nozzles. So when the cable is pushed in, this will press this little button right here and then you can fire. So you don't have to press anything with your thumb while you're pulling this trigger. So it's really great. They give you a belt clip, which can go on the left or right hand side. And it's a 20 volt max DeWalt tool. So that means you can use any of DeWalt's 20 volt batteries on here. You can use flex volt batteries. You just cannot use the 12 volt lineup on this. So it's a magazine style. So this just slides open and then we can slide in two sleeves of staples. So the staples are only made by DeWalt. There's no one else making these as of right now. I might be incorrect. So if anyone knows differently, please let me know because these are extremely hard to get. I had to get these on Amazon and we'll leave some links down below if I can find them. But all the tool stores, you just they just don't have them, they're sold out. So it's a very popular item. These are each 15 staples per clip. So the gun itself will actually hold 35 staples. So if you have some extras left over inside, it'll, it'll hold 35. And then we just close it up like that. So these staples are insulated on the top. So it's just the top and a little bit of the sides. It's got some plastic on it. And that allows you to use them uh, in different states, different provinces, whatever. Just make sure you check with your local building code because I know they're not approved everywhere. So just really double check before you buy into this that you're actually allowed to use these. So we're allowed to use them here and that's why I bought it. If you're following along, we are doing a renovation on our property. So I am gonna be doing all the electrical work. I've done tons of electrical work in my 20 years of contracting and carpentry work. So I'm just gonna do it myself. Um, I did it before on this house, now I'm doing it again. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. We're gonna have lots of videos up and all that stuff. So make We're sure you- so excited about it, babe. Well, it's a ton of work, I'm doing it all myself. But uh, yeah, I thought because it's so much work, I am looking for areas to shave my time. I'm trying to save money, so I'm not subbing it out. I'm just trying to shave my time. So I thought buying a cable stapler is a perfect reason to uh, get a new tool and shave that time. So let's, oh, I got a, my drink is on the, <laughs> thanks babe. That is not part of the review. Um, so the great thing about the stapler here is that you can do you know, your Romex wire. So 14.2, 14.3. Um, I'll grab the chart here cause I didn't memorize it all. Uh, yeah, 14.2, 14.3, you can stack them together. 12-2, you can stack them together. 12-3, you can stack them together. 10-2, you can stack them together. And 10-3, you can only do one. So make sure when you're stacking them together, you're not doing it on edge. Okay, you gotta do it flat like this. You can also do low voltage stuff like speaker wire, coaxial cable, uh, Cat5, Cat6, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just, I think it's just amazing because I, I hate hitting my thumb with my hammer and I'm usually pretty good at not doing that. But every once in a while you just smack it when you're nailing in like an S1 or S2 staple. And I just, I just don't want to go there. And I know I'm going to have to do some staples, but you know, a, a house you're going to be putting in probably at least a thousand staples. I would, I would think. So this is just going to be a game changer. And it's DeWalt and I, I'm just gonna enjoy using it. Also, 
these boxes contain 540 staples per box and they cost about 20 bucks ish uh, that's Canadian and I've seen them for like 25 on Amazon as well so uh, we'll leave some links like I said and yeah they're just pretty cool um, another thing about the staples they are three quarters of an inch across and one inch deep so if you want to know those specs there you go and they're meant for indoor not outdoor all right let's try this out um, they give you two options when you're buying this kit you can buy it as a bare tool or you can buy it with a two amp hour battery those are the two kits that I've seen so far and with a two amp hour battery I think you can get anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred shots roughly I can't remember the exact number but it's not over fifteen hundred and it's not under a thousand so you basically could probably last a whole week on one battery um, and I'm going to show you another battery that you could last a lot longer on in a second here but let's let's fire some staples all right so you can see the light just went on there we press it down piece of cake now it does leave a little gap so you can still move the wire it's not pinching this down super tight now if I wanted to do two wires just stack them up and there you go just like that and if you wanted to do some cat five this is where you have to be careful because the cat five can slip in between here and then it won't fire. You have to press right on the center. So you just got to be a little bit more careful. We can do some speaker wire. Then I'm going to show you how fast we can go on the 14.2. Pretty fast. So I think this thing just is going to be a huge time saver for electricians, for carpenters, you know, do-it-yourselfers. If uh, that's not what I'm saying, edit DIYers. <laughs> <laughs> DIYers. I'm like FYIers. What, what is that? Do-it-yourselfers. A, a DIYer. Uh, guys like myself, you know, that we're just building homes and crushing it all the time. So, yeah, I think it's just a cool tool. I've always wanted to buy it and I found a reason to buy it. So there we go. Now, another battery that I'm loving, and I'm gonna be doing a video on it as well, but this is DeWalt's new Power Stack battery. These things are awesome. I have nothing but awesome things to say about them, so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, because I will be putting a video up on these. But with the Power Stack battery on this, not only is it lighter, but you've got more power than the two amp. You've got 50% more power. So with the power stack battery, same thing. You don't need the extra power, but you do have the extra run time compared to a two amp hour. And it's lighter, it's more compact. It's a sleeker battery. It just really pairs well with pretty much any of DeWalt's tools. All right, guys, I've done a lot of rambling. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, Make sure you leave them down below. I always try and answer as many as I can. And uh, yeah, keep on crushing it, guys. We'll catch you later.